Galwan Mazboot Bharat rattles Beijing. Now we have been told that Chinese troops have been pushed back at the LAC and their tents uh, have been dismantled. So disengagement at three friction points at Galwan, at Gogra and Hot Springs. Let's go across to our National Affairs Editor Shinjoy Chaudhary who is joining us with more details. Uh, visible uh, changes on ground, signs of de-escalation, Shinjoy? Yes, uh, Swati, this is happening in the PP14, PP15 and PP17 areas of Galwan, Gogra and Hot Springs. Uh, in Galwan specifically, as we said just a little while ago, uh, the plan has been uh, there to move back troops and it has just started getting implemented right now, is what we are saying. As we speak, Chinese PLA trucks People's Liberation Army trucks have just reached Galwan and uh, the tents in Galwan on the Indian side are being dismantled as we speak, Swati, and they are being dismantled and the pullback has just started. This is, uh, as we speak, this is happening in Galwan. What we are hearing is that they will be moved back uh, at least one kilometer at least one kilometer is what we had said earlier about an hour ago and that is exactly what is happening it's being moved back at least one kilometer uh, that is breathing space if you move back a little more then they will be completely across the line of right. actual control as mm. india sees it Absolutely. and this again is a point uh, we were saying swati uh, let me finish let me finish swati yes, go ahead, go ahead. the other point is that on the other side in Gogra and Hot Springs again there have been activities seen on the Chinese side again we are hearing that there will be trucks coming there will be tents being dismantled this is PP14 PP15 and PP17 the idea as Times Now has been saying for the last two days is to create a buffer zone if you create a buffer zone then the two armies will be away from each other this and the moratorium on night patrolling which will begin now will ensure that the troops are away from each other and there is no level of violence also if they go back more than a kilometer in galwan they will be across the line of actual control if you're across the line of actual control according to indians the indian perception then you're on Chinese territory and that problem in Galwan is stopped. Then the Indian perception here is, belief is, that this template that has been created in Galwan can be used for Depsang and it can be used for Pangong. What happens, when it happens, how it happens mm. remains to be seen. But the Galwan is the breakthrough. We are at mm. this point witnessing a breakthrough. This is the great moment that people have been waiting for from the 6th of May. Mm. We are exactly two months since the first fighting happened in Galwan and in that area. Remember, there were two scraps between mm. Indian soldiers and the PLA troops. It has taken exactly two months mm. since that and it is exactly about three weeks since that time the terrible fighting happened when 20 Indian soldiers had to lay down their lives. Right. Well, you got us the inside scoop first here on Times Now on what was being discussed in those meetings. You also got us, uh, you know, news first here on Times Now on the breakthrough that is being witnessed at Galwan and other friction points. Let me uh, quickly take an update from uh, Mohit as well as joining us live from Leh. Uh, visible changes on ground. Srinjoy reporting a massive breakthrough as far as uh, disengagement at Galwan is concerned. Uh, Chinese troops have, of course, uh, been pushed back as decided one kilometer is the buffer zone which will be created between both India and, and China at the LAC and the tents are being dismantled. Mohit. 
Well, absolutely, absolutely, Swati. You know, this is uh, this is the good news, which uh, you know, uh, uh, both the uh, Indian Army as well as the Chinese Army had been really talking about. We've seen how the disengagement talks had been on. Uh, there had been a spate of at least 15 meetings. Uh, three of them, the co uh, the, uh, the uh, you know core commanding uh, core commander uh, meeting, which uh, you know took place. It was last week that it happened, and it was expected, you know, that India would in fact put forward its its foot and very clearly mention it to the Chinese that till the time they eventually move out or for that matter you know uh, back up uh, there is no possibility of further any talks and that's exactly something that has happened today that's exactly what our senior colleague Srinjoy Chaudhary is reporting to us it's a massive break that he's brought to us and especially given the fact that you know it's the Chinese who are now dismantling their own tents at this particular point uh, you know he's, he's also correctly said that this comes in almost two months ever since the first uh, confrontation actually took place we've seen how there have been multiple videos which have come out very clearly we've seen that the Indian soldiers have stood their ground they have managed to ensure that there is no intrusion from the Chinese army but there seems to have been a trust deficit I've been focusing on that trust deficit ever since uh, you know uh, ever since uh, our, our, our 20 soldiers mm. uh, who, who gave their lives who, who you know who died in the in the line of uh, line of fire line of or line of uh, on the line of duty at this particular point and uh, you know ever since then there has been a trust deficit between India and and China especially from the Chinese front because you know despite them promising and even you know assuring that they would be moving out we've seen certain installations coming in from the Chinese but today's massive break which uh, is being reported by Srinjoy Chaudhary clearly showcases that the mm. Indians have stood up uh, the the Indian Prime Minister's visit right here so this engagement at three friction points at this point in time uh, Srinjoy and Mohit stay on with us which is taking a very short break on the broadcast but our coverage continues on the other side